For this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, I am reviewing this product right here. This is the Camp Lux Dual Fuel Stove that I've been using for roughly a year now. This is one of those products where the quality is just good enough, the price is just good enough, and the performance is good enough where I can recommend it. The cost of this stove is right at $35. There's two versions, there's a blue one and a black one. And for that price, I would say that this is a purchase. Jumping straight to the end of the review here, I would recommend this stove. But the thing is, the case is very flimsy. The stove itself is very flimsy. The area where you put the butane canister is very flimsy. And even with these shortcomings, the performance of this stove is excellent. It performs very well for the $35. And with that being said, Let's go ahead, take a look at it. I'll give you my review and wish you all a good day. This is the storage case that comes with this stove. It is plastic. You have two locks up here. The quality, as mentioned before, is just average. You can see how it's bowed. It doesn't really seal 100%. It does latch shut, so you don't have to worry about it popping open or anything like that. But in general, this is very, very cheap. Very, very flimsy. It does protect the stove, and that's about it, really. It makes transporting it easy, <laughs> and that's it. This is the Camp Lux stove. That's the burner. This is the burner plate, which flips over just like that. Right here is the gas chamber. And this stove comes with a propane hose and regulator. And it can be used with butane canisters. The door for the gas compartment is exceptionally flimsy. And this is something that you can bend very easily. And you might need to to make it stay shut. Camp Lux, enjoy outdoor life. This lever right here is for butane canisters to lock them into place. And this is your on, off, and adjustment switch. Go all the way down for the igniter. That'll fire it up. That's high. And then right about here is low. And then once you get to this section here, that really is basically off, which I will show you in just a minute. Focusing on the gas compartment here for a second, the propane regulator is very easy to use. You screw it on. Attach your propane canister to the regulator and you're good to go. The quality of the hose is actually pretty good. It is very stiff though. With butane canisters, you put them in, lock it into place, and now you are good to go. So this is the igniter, and that is the head right there, the burner head. I will go ahead and turn this on. You turn it all the way to high and click, and the stove is now burning away. You can of course adjust it. And right there, the stove is out and you can see how much is left over this dial here and it's not actually releasing any sort of gas to show you all how well this stove works i have two cups of water it is coffee time for me and also it is breezy today and this will give you a good idea of just how well this will perform in real world conditions let's fire this up and see how well it does okay that's on high Let's see how long it takes to boil two cups of water. With this stove here, it is not a rocket, but it does put out a very good amount of heat. I mean, even from here, I could feel the heat radiating off of this stove. So it's boiling. That is four minutes, 30 seconds on the clock. Four minutes, 30 seconds on a very breezy day. Now I will switch over to propane to see how fast it boils two cups of water. I'll put the stove on the ground for this test. The stove is cooled off again. Put the water on. And now it's time to fire it up. Again, this is not a rocket ship at all. This is 7200 BTUs. The stove itself comes in at three and a half pounds. Once you add in the case, 
it's right at five pounds. The dimensions of this stove is 13 inches by 11 inches, and it's roughly three inches thick. Okay, I'm seeing lots of bubbles, and we are at three minutes, 50 seconds right now. It will be boiling here in a second. And now I would say it's boiling at the same level as the butane, and that is four minutes, 10 seconds. So in truth, very little of a difference. The butane test was higher up on the stump, and that explains really the difference there. Again, this is not a rocket ship, but it will get the job done. There's nothing that you cannot do with this stove. You can heat up water for coffee. You can cook a steak on this. You can fry up whatever you need to. And that's where this thing shines, right? It does what it needs to do for a low cost. Again, 35 bucks for this type of stove is pretty good. Now let's talk about that for a minute. With this design of stove, I cannot begin to tell you how many companies have a version that looks exactly the same. My thoughts are this. There's one company out there who makes this stove and they slap different companies' names on it for them. The design looks to be just about the same on every single version. Some versions could be very inexpensive, like 18 bucks. Some could be more expensive at $70. But in the end, they look to be exactly the same. Are they different? Do they perform differently? I can't say because this is the only one that I've tested out. Gas One does have a version of this that has right around 12,000 BTUs, but the cost of that one is right at 70 bucks. Cheers, everyone, cheers. Nothing like some good coffee on a very warm day, like 82 degrees warm. <laughs> Anyways, when it comes to the pros and cons for the stove, we might as well get started with those, starting with the pros. First off, it runs on two types of fuel, butane and propane. That is awesome. There's many versions of this stove which only run on one type of fuel. Most of the time, that will be butane. The stove does exactly what it was designed to do. It heats up water, it boils water and you can cook on it. It turns on, it turns off, and I've had no issues with it. Overall, the form factor is good. It's nice and small. It doesn't take up much space inside of your vehicle. You can use this for camping, overlanding, emergency use. Speaking of use, it is easy to use. It's easy to set up with either type of fuel. As far as efficiency goes, the stove isn't bad. One can of butane will run for about two hours straight, and this is the 8.8 .8 ounce can. The burner plate is of a good size and you can use this with just about any size pot and pan. I mean, for an example, this 750 milliliter pot will sit on this and you can boil on it if you need to. I've had no issues with heat distribution as far as cooking up meals and whatnot. It works well. Lastly, when it comes to the igniter, it works well. It does what it needs to do. Now, when it comes to my cons for this stove, again, the build quality is not that great. This thing feels extremely flimsy. At no point does it feel solid. Everywhere you grab it, the metal will flex and bend some. So if you want a high quality piece of gear that really feels solid in your hands, this is not it. On the Amazon listing for this stove, the company makes sure to point out just how good it performs in windy conditions. And I have found that not to be the case. You can definitely cook, you can heat up, you can do what you have to do, but don't think you can go outside in a windy situation and boil water just like that because that's not the case. The overall wind resistance, in my opinion, is rather poor. So you will need some sort of windshield set up if you plan to be outside in windy conditions. So in the end, for $35, what you are getting is a stove that runs on two fuels, a stove that's never given me any problems. The overall build quality is extremely flimsy, but it gets the job done. And for this purchase, I don't regret it at all. This stove has served me well for over a year, and I plan to continue to use it for a long time. I've used it in numerous situations, weather conditions, rain, snow, ice, freezing conditions, and whatnot, and it's always fired up. It's never let me down. And for 35 bucks, in my opinion, that's not bad. And for my review of the Camp Lux dual fuel stove, that is it. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts. What do you all think about this stove? Do you think a stove that costs $35 to buy, that has poor build quality, but runs great, is worth 35 bucks? There are much better stoves out there, don't get me wrong, but 35 bucks. You could easily spend hundreds of dollars on a stove that will ultimately accomplish the same thing. And that's something to consider. Everyone, take care, strength and honor. I will see you all around soon. Bye.